NBA living. I'm not satisfied with just being in the NBA. Everything that you see the greats do, I want to be one of them. It's year three. Time to show people I've made an improvement. I have a little bit more motivation. Tyler, have you ever changed your diaper? Nope. Katia, she's due whenever. I'm ready to attack it and be the best dad possible. We're so excited. excited now, especially to have a girl. We got my family in town for the week. We invited Duncan Robinson to get some work in. Back in Milwaukee, hometown. Got something special for you guys. Now we're headed to Lexington to the old stopping grounds in Kentucky. Oh! Off season is gonna end, my baby's gonna be here, and then the season's gonna start, and I'm in a good spot mentally, and I'm really excited about it. Working out with Andrew Moran, a Miami Hoop School a pro trainer out here. We work out you know, almost every day while I'm in Miami. One, two, drop, step. Yeah, perfect. This offseason is important for me. I want to get back to the basics. Doing what I love is playing a game of basketball. Create that separation. So I can still get to here, but who am I want to get up with? You got that? Eh, <laughs> on that side. <laughs> Focusing on his mid-range, little hesitations coming off of a ball screen. Three, stop, lift, and then, and then push. He didn't really get an offseason after his rookie year. Nice. How's that feel? <laughs> Our rookie year, we had you know a crazy year where we went to the finals. Going into my second year, there was a lot of expectations for myself. Lefty! It was a long year for me personally. A lot of injuries, in and out of starting five. I feel like I'm ready to show people what I'm about. I told you what I get. Yeah, yeah. You can take a little bit off the top too. Headed to get a haircut. Well, I feel like I'm busy throughout the day with workouts and everything, so I try to get in there at night, preparing for my magazine shoot tomorrow morning. Every time I see your hair like that, I'm like boarding school. Send them off. <laughs> Baba, that's my right hand man. We go way back to when I was in third grade. The shoots in the loft tomorrow? Yeah, like probably like how the Players Tribune was when we was in New York during draft week. Okay, 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 okay. Sounds like a plan. He's like a big brother to me. You know, it's love. That's how I feel about the one I'm on. That has no hook, no nothing. You wrote to it? Mm-mm. I haven't taken the time. I be wanting to. We love music, like part of our everyday life for sure. Penthouse sweet. I've been on rough for two weeks. That's what you wrote to that kid? Yeah. You know, in the penthouse sweet. I've been on rough for two weeks. Whole oh, world know I'm a freak. <laughs> <laughs> you know, I just feel like music just brings a, a vibe to everything. You just did 200 for a post last week. <laughs> Never broke it again, you're not in my league. M <laughs> NBA. Yeah, that's why I'm laughing, you're not in my league. When I got drafted, I was surprised going to Miami. I thought I was gonna go to Boston. Miami ended up taking me. For me, like growing up, I had one dream and that was the NBA. And peace champ. I'm not a lottery pick to just be another NBA player. Need a hoodie mellow for this one. Oh. One. That's not what I want to be. Hey. Shot. Bad pass. I get pissed when I miss shots. Good one. Come on. I feel like I should make every shot. Is it gonna pay off? Is it gonna work in the games? If you play me like that, I'm not doing this. But if you lean leaning that way, I'm gonna just do this. Drop that thing off the coat. Right, I understand that. I want you to feel it if you're gonna turn and shoot sometimes, okay. you know? Everyone's gonna label me as a catch and shoot player. There you go. That might not even be what I do second best. Hey! Shot. I've been having to prove that my whole life since I picked up a basketball. Watch out. One 
day someone loves you, the next day they hate you, and you know I'm used to that. Katia, she's my girl. We're in our front yard trying to get this car seat in my car. Hold on, we got to find this truck. First time oh, parents. Oh, we're getting ready for the baby to get here. Okay. We have to buckle it in. That is a whole nother project. Both of our first times, like, putting the car seat in the car. So we're, we're struggling a little bit. We're going through it. Yeah, look, that's it. We're both making suggestions how to do it. Other way. This way. <laughs> yeah. Boom. And then eventually we get it. Yeah. <laughs> there we go. <laughs> Obviously, you can't really prepare for it until it happens. But I'm just, you know, reading books and trying to do as much as I can to get ready. I mean, my baby in that thing for sure. Look at that cute. Oh. Baby. Are we going this way? Yeah, okay. we're gonna be in the okay. garden. I'm gonna be on the cover of one of the magazines that they're launching for Paris Fashion Week. This is my first time doing a shoot like this. It's definitely something I've always wanted to do, and I'm really excited to be a part of it. How long does it usually take to put on the makeup? For men, like five minutes. A little blemish control, a little shine control, brushing the brows, making sure the facial hair is good. Women, whole nother story. <laughs> Y'all need like an hour and a half. At least. <laughs> At least. <laughs> For a couple different shoots, I've had to put on makeup, so it wasn't brand new, but I mean, she did my whole face, and it was it was crazy. So I mean, they they definitely tried to make me look good. Oh yeah, you did that. <laughs> <laughs> Mr. Lemieux, I'm ready for my club set. It's probably one of the hottest days of summer. I'm wearing literally like a all black button up, then a jacket over that, and then like a trench jacket over the the original jacket. Do yeah. you like some water? Oh yeah, I take okay, some water. Yeah, for take sure. it, please. I'm like, I'm like you, you're not good. <laughs> <laughs> Everything's black, so the sun is just beating on me. Yeah. <laughs> when is she due to? September 13th is expected due date. Virgo, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I'm a girl. Yeah. I'm excited. Obviously, I'm at home on the court, 10 out of 10, comfortable. I got to get warmed up a little bit off the court. <laughs> Good thing I just got my toes done. Girl, you know what I'm Good thing. <laughs> At first, I feel like I was just up there, like, just standing, like, and I felt awkward, so I wanted to move a little bit. I wanted to show my character a little bit, so I was like, let's try to do something new. Move around a little bit. It's fashion, so, you know, anything you want to look good and you think looks good can, can be good. Yeah. You know, wearing it for? Oh, my God. <laughs> I mean, I'm not the biggest fan of handbags and stuff like that, but inside, I just know I look cute, so I'm good. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't know y'all wanted to swag it out. Yeah, oh, swag it out. That's what I'm here for. I'll swag it out too. Finally headed out of the sun, headed to the air conditioned loft to finish out the rest of the shoot. Fashion has been something that I've always been interested in. High school, even middle school, like what I thought was cool in middle school and I thought was fashion, I was wearing. And I think as I get older, you know, I continue to evolve.
got my family in town for the week. I feel like it's only right for us to get on a boat and really just enjoy our time together. Honestly, when I came to Miami, it was like the first time I've even seen a yacht. So like, that's just what it is, I guess, in Miami. We're one guy short. We're looking for Bob, but we have no clue where he's at. So we just took off without him. All aboard! I don't get how they do this. What is this? They're doing construction in the middle yeah. of the water. They're saying Miami's gonna be underwater in 20 years. That's crazy. Babu pulls up on a jet ski, white t-shirt around his head. I don't know who gave him a jet ski and how he got the jet ski, but he's he's got a jet ski and he, he decided that the boat wasn't big enough for him. the football to Bob on the jet ski. Now I gotta throw another dime. You ready for this? There you go! Yeah! That's big time. Whoever brought the football and the baseball, they knew who they were dealing with. I always tell people, like, if I wanted to, I would be in the MLB right now, but I decided to go this route. I love baseball too. That was my that was my sport. Balance is huge. When you put so much work in, balancing the family and friends and everything else around it is just as important. Those are the people that support me when things aren't going my way. No matter what, they're there. My dad, that's Pops. He's been around obviously forever and you know he's a big part of, of everything we do and God. It's crazy. Mom is the rock behind everything. You know, she holds it all down. She's dealt with the house of all boys forever, actually. You know, she's got two brothers, and then me and my brothers and my dad. So she's a warrior. She's been through it all. Austin, he's my middle brother. At one point, it was just me and him, you know, before Miles came around. So me and Austin doing our things. Miles is. He's the crazy one, the wild one. You guys have seen him on Instagram. He does himself and he's got that swag to him. That's Miles. <laughs> We're just trying to enjoy our time, you know. We don't get on the water too often, but when we do, we try to enjoy it.